Okay, next, let's go ahead and add a new part. Don't forget to rename your part. So I've called this part as a window. So we'll do create part, another part studio. And next we're gonna try and tackle the round column. So let's start with a sketch. This time we're gonna pick the top plane, although we're kinda of gonna build this from the bottom up. Instead of using the corner rectangle, I want to select the center rectangle tool. So there's also a center point rectangle tool because I want this part to be centered at the origin. So of course, I go ahead and click to create it. And if you miss your dimensions on the fly, that's fine. And dimension that at 1.125 by 1.125. Okay, we can finish our sketch. Let's flip back so we're looking at uh, top front right as we usually do. And we'll go ahead and extrude profile up a distance of 0.375 inches. And then we'll do a sketch on that face again, the top view. And now you can see why I wanted to use the origin there because we're thinking about, hey, I want to draw a circle now centered at the origin. So if I had made the origin another point, it would have taken a little bit more mathematics or geometry or something. But I, I you know, this makes it really easy because now I can be constrained right to that origin. So now I can draw my circle and I've missed dimensioning it again. So let's just grab the dimension tool and dimension that at 0.625, 5 eighths of an inch. Uh, finish our sketch. Okay, go back to isometric view. And now we want to go ahead and extrude that circular profile up a distance of 2.75 inches. Finish the extrusion. And we'll put this sketch on the top of the cylinder and grab the rectangle tool. And we want to do the center point rectangle again. And of course, we can just dimension that at. 1.125. If you create the dimension because you are click happy with your mouse, you just double click and we can edit it. 1.125. And let's double click that one. 1.125. Finish the sketch. Extrude it up. And this time, since there's more than one profile, you're going to have to pick both the square and the circle. And we want to extrude that a distance also of 0.375. Okay, finally, we just need to drill the hole in this part. So in order to do that, we need a center point. So let's do a sketch on the top square of the column. And then we need a center point. If I find the midpoint of a side and then drag over to the middle, because that is a midpoint projected above the origin, then now that's in the middle of the square. One click and I have my center point. Okay, and notice that that point is black, which means it's fully constrained. So then I can finish my sketch and select the hole tool, pick the center point for the hole, and we're going to drill a hole diameter of. 0.375 and we want to drill it uh, not blind yes it is going all the way through okay so there we see we have a hole all the way through the part so now the round columns done